He's like a well-trained baby. <laughs> you get them in on a routine, you know. Very good. Hey. When someone's as close to his horse as Mick Ennis, it's easy to be blinded to how others see him. And for the racing world, Lascago had just completed a disastrous season, although he seemed less worried than anyone. He more or less stays to himself. <laughs> it is like a horse walking beside him, as much as to say, well, you shouldn't be there, you know. <laughs> You've got to have him right on the right day and hope everything goes right for you. You can easily have a horse to fall in front of you and bring you down at the wrong stage or make a mistake at the wrong stage of the race and two lengths could very probably cost you the race, you know. He's, he's terrific now, he's in terrific form, you know, and he couldn't be better. I'd say in another fortnight, he'd be 100%. The Skaga, meanwhile, was being groomed for his third national attempt under the firm but devoted attention of Mick Ennis. The traditional art of strapping is an all-important element in Irish stable craft. It turns the muscles and generates well-being. Come on, son. Up. Yes, the intricate and loving care that a racehorse demands is made easier by the dream of glory at the end of the rainbow. The demanding and often exhausting stable duties are a labour of love if you truly believe that one day you'll be standing in the winner's enclosure at Aintree. And everyone at Ballysax Manor firmly believed that one day Lascago would win the national. After all, in the spring of 74, he was still only 11 years old. And hadn't the national winner been a 12-year-old three times in the 60s? 